Hey, hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Rampant Glitch Type 01 Premiere Pro project file. That's right, these are Premiere templates. This has nothing to do with After Effects, there's no dynamic linking, and there's no plugins used in this at all. This is 100% native Premiere Pro goodness, so you don't need anything but Premiere Pro and uh, well, I need for titles, really, in order to use this. So before we jump into anything, before we jump into Premiere, let's go into the Windows uh, Explorer or Mac Finder. I'm obviously on a Mac, so I'm in the Finder. And when you look for your project, you're going to find something like this. It's going to say Rampant Glitch Typo 1 PR PROJ. That's your project file. You're going to have a couple of glitch effects and screen effects from the Rampant Distortion Toolkit. That's included free with your, with your template. And of course, it comes with an installation PDF that talks about how to install it what versions of Premiere this works with, what fonts we use, and how to fill out a support ticket, or call us uh, at our studio and you'll get a hold of the world famous um, Final Cut stuff and she'll help you out any way she can. And of course, then the only other thing you'll find is here, it says your logo.jpg. It's just a placeholder for a logo, unless you're really wanting a series of titles that says your logo. That's fine, I don't judge, all good. Before you load anything into Premiere though, go ahead and highlight your project file and duplicate it, boom. This is a project file, so once you make uh, changes, it's changed forever. Always make a backup. You can always go back to the zip file that you download, but why bother? You know, you might lose it, you might not know where it is, whatever, just make a backup, no big thing. All right, so jumping into Premiere Pro, booyah. I'm in Premiere Pro CC 2014. That's what this project works in. It works in 2014, 2015, and 2017. If you're using anything other than CC 2014 or above, meaning if you're using CS4, or CS5, or CS6, you are out of luck, unfortunately. Are these Premiere Pro templates only work with uh, CC files, uh, CC 2014 and above. Okay, so when you jump into this project file, what do you have? What do you see? What, what am I supposed to do? When you load up the project, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have one sequence open called Your Glitch Titles. And if you scroll through, you can see very quickly, uh, it says Title 01. It's a little bit glitchy, a little bit bouncy, some rampant glitches, and uh, very faintly in the background, it says Your Logo. So how do I change this? Well. Like most of our template files, you're going to have a, basically a preview sequence. You don't really do anything to the sequence. This is really just a, a preview or export. If you like the way this is strung out, you can just go under File, Export, make your make your video, and you're good to go. All right. Uh, this may not that may not be necessary for everybody, but that's basically how it works. So what do we do is we go over here to this project window, and we just follow everything sequentially. The very first thing says number one, your titles change your titles here. Well, that's pretty simple. Just twirl that down, you've got glitch title one through 10. I gave you 10, if you need more you can duplicate, but I thought 10 would be the right number for the majority of people who use this template. So all you do is you just highlight which one of your titles you wanna change. I'm gonna change number one, double click on it, and it's gonna open up the titler, right? And it says title 01. Well, I'm just gonna say, glit, if I can spell, glitchy, right? And now that's, it's changed the word glitchy, right? It's that simple. Every time you make a change, just go to your preview window here and just check it out, right? Real simple. You can do the same thing to glitch title two. I'm gonna change this here to so, so glitchy, right? Then I'll make sure to hit center and put it in there. And then when you roll into sequence two, so, so glitchy, all right? So it starts off going glitchy, so, so glitchy as I scrub through, right? And before anybody asks, um, the way this is set up is it should be relatively fast on your machine. I built this thing, it's uh, actually the machine I'm working on right now, I built this on like the slowest, crummiest, garbiest, garbiest, is that a word, garbagiest? Uh, I just built it on the slowest Mac I could find to make sure that uh, it works for as many people as possible. So anyway, glitchy's changed, so-so glitchy's changed, you just can keep doing that, as many titles as you need, right? So close that up, we're on to number two, your logo. If you have a logo or a URL or something you wanna throw in there, just double click on glitch logo and replace this or put on top with your logo. So I'm gonna grab the rampant uh, AI file. You can use a ping file, a PSD, AI, an animation, whatever it is you want. And of course, because my AI file has transparency, I'm gonna turn off your logo and I've got the rampant R in there. And so if I scroll all the way over here, see, that's glitchy logo. So, so glitchy, right? Pretty cool. All right, so that's done. Now, if you scroll down to in the project window, if you go to number three titles, this is dragged to your timeline. So what is that? Well, that is essentially this, right? I've strung out every single timeline right here under your glitch titles, but this is glitch title one, glitch title two, glitch title three, glitch title four, five, and so on. 
right? If you wanna just drag these uh, into a, a current timeline that you're working on or a new timeline, that's all you do. This is glitch one, glitch two, glitch three, and the glitch logo. So you can use as few or as many as you want. And that's that for number three. Number four, the screen effect right here, right? You can turn your screen effects on or off to give a little bit more punch or less punch depending upon what you wanna do. So it says add or remove screen effects. So all you have to do is go to the layer. Right now it's off, just turn it on and it adds a screen effect to your titles. Very cool. All right, you can also um, turn it off. You can mess with the opacity, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna turn it off real quick. All right, so that's that. And then five BG logo it automatically puts your logo in the background of your title. See, if you look real, real faint right here, you can see really faint is the rampant R. If you don't want that, you can just go ahead and turn that off. And everything's, everything's procedural. So, you know, you make a change in one comp, it trickles down. Real simple. So now no more background. Glitchy, so, so glitchy, right? And let's say you want the background back in. Boom, like that, right? And there it is. Okay. The next folder you'll see is comps do not alter unless you want to dig in and see how I built these things. Don't worry about this because once you alter this, everything's going to change. No big deal. And then, of course, there's the free overlays that I talked to you about right here, the rampant overlays. Cool. That's it. It's that simple. Just open up the Premiere Pro project file or import it, change your titles, and you're good to go. For this Premiere Pro template or any other ones, go to premiertemplates.net. That's premiertemplates.net. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen from rampantdesigntools.com. Thanks for watching.